terrible people. Enemy triple kill! Enemy in our jungle! Help me get rid of them! Some souls are too despicable for this world. An ally has been slain. Hello guys, before we get into the video, I just wanted to make a quick announcement. If you enjoy the regular content, please hit the like button to show your support. I asked for this in the lamb video and we got like 75 likes. Let's try to beat that as well. You guys have no idea how much it supports me. The lamb video went viral because of the likes that you guys gave. So please hit the like button and with that said, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to show you guys the most broken hero in this game and we are going to be playing the Egyptian trio so I am the Eye of Horus and we have uh, Yan Jian the Pharaoh and uh, Nuwa the Goddess of Nile look at the three of us guys all three Egyptian themed skins and uh, I'll tell you why he is the most broken hero in the game obviously Lamb is stronger than him but Lamb is like broken in a different way like his mechanics are not very broken it's just that uh, the healing is way too much right now and they will surely nerf him but let me tell you about this hero I'll tell you everything that this hero has and then you decide whether it's broken or not okay so first of all he has a stun he can fly over all the walls he also has an area stun his human form auto attack with, while he's not flying is uh, piercing auto attacks with range he can uh, deal burn damage he can get damage reduction he can get immunity to stun he can get untargetable so what what else is left what else is left guys like there is nothing else left that this hero doesn't have what he doesn't have invincibility yeah but you can uh, become untargetable and that's basically invincibility right so yeah he, yeah he also has area damage ability like a mage where he just drops it there and it will keep the, uh, dealing damage in that area for a while look at how we go in i'm going in because i have my ult so i just used my ult and ran away look at that circle inside that circle it will continuously be dealing damage to anyone who is standing so that is his ult okay the egyptian trio is here and we are going to try and kill this moin and the pharaoh goes in and finishes her off all by himself after we leave her at very low HP okay now let me summarize everything really fast okay so his passive is he can fly through all the obstacles right as long as he's flying uh, he can go through any wall or anything okay and the second is uh, his first ability uh, you see this dash right the first ability gives him increased movement speed yeah how, how did I forget that he also has increased movement speed okay and I basically you can hold your first ability and it will give you increased movement speed and at the end of the dash if you leave it he will jump for in front like dash forward and attack I the enemy and it will stun the enemy for half a second look at this guys look at this this is a showcase of the burn damage look at how much hp he has he has went under the tower right he died guys he died he had like 30 percent or 35 percent hp left look at how much burn damage we deal and let me tell you how to do that if you just attack a target five times they will become what they call gog i don't know how to pronounce it properly or if i did it right but what that gog does is if the enemy keeps moving they will take damage for five seconds look at this you can see the might buff right there is some like piercing coming like needles piercing into it right so as like yeah like this also after you hit an enemy five times it will start that effect okay and while that effect is active for every hundred units the the enemy moves they will take damage and you saw how much damage that was maganga or dr bian won't even come close to how much burn damage that is look at this i leave the creeps at like i don't finish them fully i leave them at like 800 000 hp and they just automatically die you saw how the might buff died right and the sage buff automatically you would have like noticed and okay now let's talk about the first ability 
you have this increased movement speed and then I'll if you leave it he will dash and uh, it's a very long dash you will see that now look at this look at how far he dashed and when he dashes he stuns the enemy for half a second and one more thing that he does is he will take 30% less damage from that enemy okay i over extended there and died but doesn't matter let me come back to how op he is okay poor uh, prince of handling unfortunate for him but yeah see guys if he attacks an, uh, an enemy with that dash and kick on their face and stuns them for the next 5 seconds that enemy will be dealing only 50% damage and here i i i like uh, i was waiting to click the second ability at the perfect time and i didn't click it and that ended up like hurting me a lot there and here uh, they are all over extending and you will see his power now okay 1v4 here we go second ability to dodge all the stuns killed 3 got frozen by uh, princess frost and died so we got a triple kill instantly okay now let's talk about the second ability the second ability is like an area damage he damages everyone around him and when he uses that he is also immune to stuns for uh, 0.5 seconds you saw how I attacked the might buff and left it before I fully killed it, right? See, I'm leaving this pig also. It will just die. You don't need to worry about it. And look at the sage buff. I attack it. Okay, I think this time I'll fully get it because that guy is nearby. I don't want to risk him stealing it. But I'm just going to attack him now. Like, who cares, right? I stun him and I'm just waiting for her freeze. And when she used her freeze, you saw how I used my uh, second ability to go immune from the freeze, right? And uh, we got ganked by the mine and we died but uh, our pharaoh is getting the tower so it's okay i guess mine is uh, his laner okay yeah look at how far the dash was and he also has increased movement speed right so you just need to time the second ability perfectly and you will be able to dodge a lot of stuns with it and if you dodge a stun you will like get a bonus of fly meter so basically if you stop attacking something you will stop flying right but the meter will go up by a little bit if you like use it properly and dodge a stun with that ability and you can use your first ability to not come down okay i used it uh, to fight uh, like come back into the fight but i like uh, stopped flying so once you stop flying you are not very powerful you can be easily killed even though you have like enhanced auto attack okay okay look at this guys they are chasing me and i just ran and look at this mine look at her recall dancing and she will get she will get uh, the payback from me soon stay tuned for that this is a kind of a toxic match and yeah uh, also the dash can be interrupted like uh, if there is an enemy in front uh, they will actually like stop you from dashing and look at how she died i didn't kill her but uh, she was just continuously walking and she continuously kept take taking damage and in the end she died like that damage wasn't that much at the early game you saw how much damage we did to alicio the burn damage alone okay here we go okay that's mine okay started attacking here but now attacking their support destroyed the tower going in no regard stopped attacking their support but still she uh, she or he died from just moving around one more stack left to place on mine and if i do that she will also move and die so basically you place that burn mark by attacking the enemy five times and that first ability enhanced kick right that also places one mark so if you kick them once like that and then attack the enemy four times they will be gogged and the gogged enemies will take damage if they are walking okay keep that in mind guys okay and you can also like go in like this and come out with your ult and no one can like really stop you you will just escape easily okay and also you can uh, start flying by attacking if you attack you will get some of that red meter and if the meter fills up you will start flying okay you can keep all uh, that also in mind okay i'm just roaming around and uh, trying to see if anyone else is unfortunate enough to be out here and uh, yeah, let's just get the slayer now. Uh, I guess this is called uh, tyrant, right? Okay. Uh, so yeah. Uh, coming back, we we still haven't uh, like completed all of his uh, abilities. Now the third ability. So the third ability is uh, he becomes untargetable for a really long time. It's a really long time, guys. And then comes down and stuns all the enemies. And he will also start pouring some. Uh, feather rain on that area it will, it will continuously keep dealing damage to enemies uh, inside the circle and yeah 
okay yeah, so nice. like let's just say you used your second ability by mistake and uh, then the enemies are trying to stun you why you have your ult just use your ult and it is also untargeted ability so it's even better than you okay, look at this look at this okay i die here for sure he used flicker as well otherwise i could have like tried to mark him five times and uh, that no would have just run and died so uh, keep this in mind guys if you get marked by uh, okay mark by the cyrus all you all you need to do is um stop moving if you have the privilege of uh, like standing still and if there is no one else chasing you stop moving just stand still it will minimize the damage that you take even if you don't move you will still take some damage but it will not be as high okay guys look at him look at him recall dancing look at him okay see in slow motion recall dancing and this is my next like i just now respawned and this guy is done for guys like i attack prince of landing prince of landing dies now mine tries to run she is dead look at me i can recall dance while fighting look at this recall dance recall dance recall dance yeah that is what she deserves you you recall dance after i die i recall dance while i am killing you <laughs> okay just being toxic because she started it guys i didn't start it so this is just see i was just hitting the recall button while i was still uh, fighting her so yeah okay we have got our revenge back and now uh, we have 14 kills as of now okay so let's just let's just keep farming okay by farming i mean attack the enemy support i guess okay so i think i have pretty much talked about everything every single one of his abilities and uh, yeah so it took like just 11 minutes to fully explain all his abilities because he just has that many and that is why i think he is very strong like all these chinese pro players pick this guy and solo carry and i would definitely say he is one of the best solo carry heroes in this game just because of his passive you can just fly away anywhere right look at look at that look at that i deal damage to him i die but that poor guy is running away and he dies if he had just stopped running maybe he could have survived like even if cyrus attacks an enemy once he will start dealing burn damage if he attacks two times three times four times that burn damage will increase and once he attacks five times that bog effect will in, uh, like start that's all so even if you don't get attack five times you will still be taking burn damage but you just won't be gogged so by gogged uh, i mean if you stop if you start moving you take damage okay this guy is surely dead like i gave him one chance to run away and uh, he still came back and we just one shot him out of his mind okay mine okay, see how i used my second ability to casually dodge that freeze of princess frost and now i can continue chasing these guys and you you saw how that pathetic princess frost just ran and died and this is my penta kill this is the this this was the moment and i just died so never mind i i i should have just cut uh, but i just thought it was funny so i just let it be but yeah i was like very yeah. eager to get the mega kill and just yeah. went very fast and died instantly but anyways okay so 20 kills 10 deaths now this match is like all about fighting uh like <laughs> i i i sooner realized that it's it will be really hard to win because they have very good coordination as a team and i'm just here trying to get revenge on that mine for recall dancing and basically trying to get as many kills as possible yeah. and look at look at this mobility guys just casually being able to fly around the map with no object uh, like obstacles to stop you is already a broken mechanism in itself right see i i'm just okay just unstoppable and also did you guys know whenever you use auto attack while fly, flying your range is actually pretty high and you will also be going close to the uh, uh, the target every time you use your auto attack yeah of course there is going to be something else that i forgot to tell about him right so this is it so whenever you use your auto attack while flying it will automatically push you towards the enemy slowly so you you can compare this with normal heroes like usually heroes if you attack them they will stand and attack so it gives a chance for enemy to run right but this guy won't even do that while he is flying if you use auto attacks he will like slowly move towards the enemy while attacking so it is impossible for him for enemies to escape from him and let's just say the enemy uses a dash and goes over a wall does that really matter in this case like when it comes to cyrus a wall like really there is no walls for him he can just go over all the walls and yeah it's it's a, it's a sure death for the enemy
<laughs> okay, and here's the problem, guys. Look at this frame drive. I decide it's like uh, just to watch alone. It's so annoying and it's like headache inducing. But uh, I still decided to put this because I get a kill even with this uh, <laughs> frame rate. I attack Princess Frost. She ran away and died due to the burn damage. And I didn't even know what I was doing here. I was just like. I had half control of what uh, I was doing and look at the FPS on top, 16 yeah. FPS, 17 FPS. This this happened because I was playing while I was charging and the phone battery was really really low. Unfortunate, unfortunate Prince of Landing by bro. There is no escaping from Cyrus. And you know what? Cyrus can just fly over the walls and there is no shot for this mine to catch me. Oops, I got on the ground but I think she gave up. Yeah, it won't take long before he starts flying because once he exits combat he will start flying again immediately. And we have lifesteal so even if we lose HP, just attack a minion, just attack a creep, you will get full HP again. Okay, and you can just, yeah, whoever you see just start attacking and if you feel like there is a lot of enemies there, just use your ult become untargetable and go through walls and they won't be able to catch you like how dare this guy okay just use your ult run away you can run through through walls who is going to be able to catch you so and then just attack these creeps almost uh, full hp again and this one more creep and i'm full hp basically see how 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 good it is definitely the second most broken hero right now and the second best hero to solo carry L la you think you think using a flicker will help you to actually catch me and look at my hp back full i can just come back now and kill you if i want okay at least here it is okay oh okay okay okay, okay. he's just yeah come on bro oh i didn't go him okay, if i had gored him uh, he would have like died from moving around but that without going the burn damage is not very high it is pretty good but still after they get gored it's just too much damage okay i ended up dying there but still uh, didn't cut this because our our world. pharaoh like killed mine and she resurrected and he got raped there uh, okay i might have to censor that part and uh, our uh, support went and tried to steal the the tempest dragon and ended up dying and okay who is going to be able to catch me okay guys now now the master plan okay now the master plan is into effect the enemies they got the tempest dragon and they are going to try and end so the only thing that i can do is since i have the ability to fly around the whole map with no obstacle like i can go anywhere in a straight line and the shortest distance Some between two points is a straight line right eyes. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and kill these vanguards before they come close to the base so that no matter how hard they fight they still won't be able to win the match so this is the first vanguard that i'm going to kill i told staunch and uh, like seronix to clear that one vanguard see right now there is one vanguard there right see there is one so i just told them just kill that one i will take care of all the remaining vanguard so i kill this one also okay so if they kill that uh, like there is no other minions or things to help them push okay we killed uh, their mage also as a bonus and now they cannot push and look at the bottom there is a vanguard going a dragon versus uh, let's just say we are a bird okay a dragon versus a bird and that dragon is just too fast and before i could like try to come and catch it and uh, finish it off uh, it reached the core and it also stunned the core and uh, the opponents ended up taking it very fun match kind of toxic now and then but uh, still really good one and i just wanted to show this to you guys because he is very powerful uh, i will make a tutorial for him if you guys ask that so if you want to see a cyrus tutorial just uh, like say it in the comments and uh, i will do it for you and thank you so much for the support guys uh, i i saw a lot of comments of people saying they still watch videos even uh, though they don't play the game anymore and i really appreciate the support and yeah make sure to leave a like and that's going to be it for today's video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button i hope you all have a really great day and i'll see you guys in the next video